The craft scene on Timu is insane. So I had to get a package. It just came and I've already opened it and it's just brimming full of stuff. So I wanted to do a Timu haul today and I do have to thank Timu for sponsoring this video and then making this possible. If you haven't already, you can download the Timu app to get a $100 coupon bundle. All that information is gonna be down in my description box. Or you can search my code in the app. Just put it into the search bar. My code's up here on screen. Since this isn't going to all fit here, I'm just, I'm gonna, let's, let's just uh, do this one at a time. This feels like a coaster. <laughs> Cause it kind of is a coaster. It has this marbleized pattern on it. This is for wax melts. I recently did a whole video on how to use wax seal stamps. I thought this was a pretty fancy thing to use with it. So I'd pour my wax directly onto here and it's just a beautiful way to do the craft. Love this. I only got one. Maybe I should have gotten a couple so I can do a couple at the same time. I love the marbleized look on that one. Speaking of wax stamps, I did get myself some new ones. So I did have a few in that video. I think I had maybe four and I saw this little set and I I thought I kind of had everything in it and it comes with a little case too. Isn't that the cutest? So these are the parts that will go into your wax. There's a hole in the back that you'd use to attach a handle on it. I am partial to the flower ones as always, but I thought the one that was like a solid flower with no like, just like cut out almost would be really pretty. And the snowflake one would be great for winter. So I just thought the set was really a good value. And especially since I'm starting to learn wax stamping, I wanted to link that video up here in the corner of the screen so you can go watch that video because I give all my tips and I'm thinking about doing a second one too. I've been really liking doing all kinds of different crafts on the channel and so my goal is to like have you try doing some of these crafts with me and one of those would be paper quilling. I do have a paper quilling kit that I want to try but I wanted to get this so I can have some extra paper strips. So that's what this is. This is the paper strips. Oh wow I get two packages of them. Three pack. Four. Oh they're different sizes. They're different widths. Oh cool. Some are really thick and some are are really thin but they're the same colors so this I thought would be very helpful because I'm just learning so I'm guaranteeing you I'm gonna have some mess ups that's gonna be a video I'm gonna do when I try paper quilling if you've tried it you have any tips you have to let me know because this is a brand new craft for me oh more wax seal stuff so these are spoons so what I found is when I was doing my wax seals I wanted to do more so I could be a little faster and so I enjoy the weight but I thought some extra spoons would be great so I don't have to clean them in between. This is more of a thing for my kids because I don't do a lot of painting. So it is a paintbrush holder and you're to lay your paintbrush here and then all of the stuff, the extra stuff can go, I don't know if you go this way or the other way, I'm not quite sure, but it will go into this crevice so that you don't have to worry about like uh, paper towels or anything like that. And it's just a really great reusable way because you can rewash it. Also on my list of things to do is jewelry making. And so this is a little band to measure your fingers with. So I have some metal stamping sets that my daughter has been using and who's really into them. And so this is to put around your finger to determine your ring size. They also make these as bracelets too. So I thought that'd be a really cool thing to add to her kit because she's always asking me how big to make things and I don't have an answer for her and then this will give give more of an accurate answer this is chenille stems for chenille flowers i am very excited to try this because i think my kids would enjoy making this so it looks like it comes with some glue sticks some like green looks like floral tape to hold it all together the chenille stems there's even some green sticks in here these look like the insides of a flower <laughs> this is funny it says wish you best of luck oh well this is the card <laughs> that they were telling me <laughs> good luck on doing this project <laughs> this is the card that you put into the flower bouquet so you're making a flower bouquet with all these pipe cleaners here's the instructions oh my girls are going to be so excited to try this and then you can add the card in and make it look like a little bouquet and that's great is that you could probably use this for other chenille stems that you have oh so excited oh this is a diamond and painting tray. I don't think it's put together though. I like to diamond paint. I like it so much that I have a whole separate diamond painting channel. That is definitely going to go in the corner because if you are into diamond painting, oh, this is going to turn out so nice. If you're into diamond painting, then you're going to love my channel because I like to find other things that I can diamond paint other than just canvases. This is actually a tray. So it's not put together. So here are the wooden pieces to put it together, the sides. And then this is what the bottom of the tray is going to look like. Now, if you don't know what diamond painting is that channel will definitely help. I still have to put some like tutorial videos 
on there. Diamond painting sets come with all of the little jewels or gems, or we call them drills to put on them. And they come with all of the things that you need to apply them. And so this is just a really unique way to do diamond painting. And I'm excited for this project. More diamond painting kits. Ooh, I'm so excited. Lots of projects I'm gonna be able to do this summer. My kids also like diamond painting too. So they're big fans. So this is a set of smaller paintings and it gives you pictures of what's included on the box. These are all the diamond paintings that are included. They're separate ones and they're smaller ones. How great will these look framed in a collection all together? This is so nice. Okay, so here's the toolkit. Inside comes your little trays and tweezers and the wax you need to help apply them. Here's all the gems. There's a lot of them. And then here are paintings. This is a color card card that tells you what goes on what. Oh yes. And they're made out of like a nice material too. And they're all individual and they're smaller projects. So the thing about diamond paintings that people get really intimidated by is the size of them. Sometimes they're just too big. So these are perfect smaller projects just to kind of keep you engaged a little bit longer. I find doing the smaller projects I enjoy because I can feel accomplished. But the larger ones I do like too because you really feel accomplished after doing a large one. This is a heated gold foil pen. Now I've never tried one of these, so I wanted to try it because this channel is all about trying new things, right? It comes with the pen. It looks like there's a couple different tips on here and some foil and there's batteries and it heats up the foil so you can apply it to different things. It comes with the two extra foils, but of course I had to get more. So you can get this set or you can also buy them individually in all kinds of different colors. I just ended up getting more gold and silver because I figured I use those the most, but there's so many different colors that you could use. Oh yeah, there's one in here too. There's a rainbow one in here. It looks like a little USB charger. Cool. I can imagine using this on card making or with the kids to like jazz up some of their artwork, mixed media, junk journals. I don't technically junk journal. This makes me want to. Oh, more paper quilling stuff. So this is actually one of the kits. So it comes with its own for the kit. And then this one has envelopes. <laughs> oh, I see. It's the card making kit I got. Yes, yes, yes. So it has the glue and the instructions. And this is specifically for making cards. So it has a couple of different patterns on here to make different kinds. So here they are here in the corner with the instructions. And here are the cards to use. You have plenty of cards and the envelope or envelopes, however you want to say it. Here is a little quiller that comes with it. You have a pair of tweezers to help place them. And then you have a measurement tool guide. And one of the reasons why I got this was for the measurement tool guide. So you can measure your little quills using that. And I thought the cards would be a fun thing. Maybe we can use the foil with this too. Here we have a diamond painting kit. It's a mirror. So this is what you diamond paint. You can see all the numbers on there. Here's the mirror inside of here that goes right in the center. So you can actually hang this up or set it up as a plate or a mirror. There's a little stand in here that goes on the mirror so you could set it up and display it. You get your toolkit for the diamond painting. Looks like a little chain to hang it up if you wanna hang it up. And then all of the jewels that go along with it. And these are fun because all the jewels are different sizes and they're super sparkly. So this is a diamond painting mirror. This actually came in several different styles. There are so many different ones you could choose from. I like the purple pinkish colors, so that works out best for me. Embroidery DIY art kit. This one is going to be a push for me. And what I mean by that is I already know that this isn't the best craft for me. I'm willing, now that I'm an adult, to give it a shot. I know I tried it when I was younger. So what you have is these guides to help you learn stitching for embroidery. Let me pull this out and you can see the picture. And so it's meant to help the beginner learn the best stitches. So you get the hoop, you have some of the embroidery needles, some really cute scissors and a threader, the embroidery floss and all the different colors. Those are pretty. And then here are your templates. And so you'd put these inside your hoop and then you'd follow and learn all these different stitches so that when you do a bigger piece, you know what all these stitches look like and you can have practiced them. I'm not saying I'm a great embroiderer. I see all these beautiful things that people make and I'm so impressed. And I thought something like this could really help me see if this is a craft that I can come back to. Ah, we have some handles for those wax stamps. So these just simply go on to those stamps and I wanted to get a couple extra. I got some really pretty marbleized colors and it looks like too, I got a couple of stamps here as well. And of course I got the flower ones. Put a picture of them up here on the screen and you can see them a little bit closer up. And so these stamps just 
attach to the handle, you just screw them on like that. And then you can do your wax seals. Another diamond painting kit. This time I think it's a coin purse. I'm telling you, I love finding all of those like really unique things to diamond paint. Yes, it is. So here's a little fabric. It's a fabric, no, it's plastic. Coin purse that opens up like that. And oh, it's both sides. You diamond paint both sides. And then it comes with all the jewels, two packages and the tool kit to do it. And what a cute gift that would make. Another diamond painting kit. It's a mirror for your purse. And once again, double-sided jewel toolkit and the jewels. You guys, it's so cute. And it's actually really, really nice. I've got lots of things to do on that diamond painting YouTube channel now for sure. Are there any diamond painters out there? Please let me know. Surely I am not the only one obsessed. And if you are a diamond painter, that's what these are for. These are little anti-static pads. So sometimes those little diamonds and jewels get staticky. And so this you put inside, it's a little sheet and you stick it inside and it takes away helps take away that static a little cute container to put them into ah this is for paper quilling so this has a little grid on it and then there's yeah there's little pins that go inside these holes inside the container or inside this plate and you use it as a guide never used it before thought it was interesting thought i'd give it a shot and so this would be something to try so this is a paper twiller battery operated you put your paper on here and push the button and it twirls it for you now i just got this as a bonus because I've never paper twilled before and am I saying twill? I mean quill. Sorry. You guys when I do these videos sometimes my words just don't come out right. Quill. I think I'm mixing twirl and quill together to make twill. Paper quill. Sorry. People probably write in the comments speak correctly. So here we have a paper quiller that will turn and twirl them for you. Battery operated. We'll see if this is actually worth the hype and if it works or not. This is diamond release paper. It is essentially just like an non-adhesive sheet that will go over a diamond painting because diamond paintings come with that like plastic sheet on them and so this will help protect your work surface so i got some more of those i've used these before in the past and liked them so i just got some a refill here is a diamond painting tote bag this will be a really good example of that sheet that i was talking about so this plastic sheet protects the sticky part on your work surface this is really cute and so if this was a canvas i could put these release papers on top and cut them smaller pieces so I can work on small areas at a time. So here we have a tote bag. This also came in a couple of different styles. I thought it was another cool take. And look, it's pretty thick. You can fit quite a bit in there, a lunch if you wanted to. So like a little purse with flowers on it. Oh, and look, we have another stamp to go along with my other stamps. This one's a really pretty pearlescent blue. I should put all those together so you can see them. They're pretty shimmery. These are wax seal stickers. So when you make a wax seal and you don't put it directly on an envelope or you're making them ahead, you put these on the back, they're double-sided adhesive. And then when you're ready, you take off the other peel and then you can stick it onto your envelope. So I have found these to be very useful and effective. So I got another package of those. We have a quilling kit. This one is a little bit different than the other one. It just has tools and things in it. So we have another pair of tweezers. Looks like some pins. I have have some papers, two tools, and these are for different sizes, I believe, of paper. This guide, actually that's really nice, has all kinds of different shapes, not just the circles, although the other one had a lot more circles, so you can help form the correct shape to it. This is very, very nice. So this is little powders, like mica powder, I believe, that you can put on the top of a wax seal stamp to color it. So it helps this, the parts that stand out of the stamp stand out a little bit more. I got this one because it had three different colors for me to try. You can get them in single colors too. So it's like a copperish bronzy color, gold and silver, and then two little applicators to put on top of them. What a mess I have made with my entire haul, you guys. Quite a bit of things. I gotta go put away all the stuff and organize it now. But this, I'm very excited about everything. Like 100% excited about everything in this haul. Hopefully you are inspired to get something. Don't forget all the links are down below with the code and everything. Thank you, Tima, for sponsoring this video. And make sure you click subscribe. See you in the next one.